What's going on guys? We are the American Home Team and in this video we're going to be talking about exactly what it's like to live in the Finger Lakes from two guys who grew up here. Let's get into it. Let's go. What's up everybody, we are American Home Team. I'm Avery, this is my partner Anthony, and thank you for tuning into the channel, uh, Living in the Finger Lakes. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you're notified every single time that we post a new video, which is gonna be every Tuesday or Thursday. Absolutely guys, and we are licensed real estate agents in the state of New York, which means as much as we love making these videos for you guys, we would love even more to help you guys with your real estate needs, whether that's buying, selling, investing, or building. So with that being said, guys, let's talk about what it's like to live in the Finger Lakes. Yeah, so first things first, the Finger Lakes region is probably one of the most beautiful regions of New York. We are um, upstate, we're considered upstate, and uh, really western New York. Yep. And so when people think about the Finger Lakes or they think about New York, they think of New York City, right? And skyscrapers and all that jazz. Guys, Don't that's have not, many of those. Yeah, that's not <laughs> what that's not what we are here in the Finger Lakes. Finger Lakes is a little bit more laid back. It's a lot of rolling, uh, rolling hills and farm life. Um, the lakes, you know, tons of boating, swimming, fishing. Um, but you're gonna see a lot of greenery. You're yep. gonna see a lot of uh, cornfields. You're gonna see a lot of farms, which brings us to uh, probably one of the biggest attractions that we have here in the Finger Lakes region, which are the grapes, uh, yeah. the wine culture and beer culture around and here. So much like Napa Valley in California, the Finger Lakes is deemed at, or it's known as the wine country of the East Coast. And just to touch on what Avery was saying there is, I had some friends come out who are from California and from Texas, and they were really saying that the Finger Lakes, this area here, was country as hell, is what they were saying. And that is, um, it's funny because it's true. I, I never realized it until we went off to the Marine Corps and we experienced other parts of the country. And now that our older brother is out in Arizona, he's experiencing that as well. And you, you don't really know it because it's just, everything is still so hometown Yeah. where every, you know, you're kind of nestled in there and-, and um, It's a bunch of small villages. You're separated. One town is separated by massive cornfields or, you know, you have to take a state route to, to go really to anywhere there's an attraction, right? Yep. To a, the cool part is, is that number one, it's beautiful. And number two, you're within a 30 minute drive just about to anywhere. And so we live in the Pumpkin Hook district of uh, Farmington, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a lot more rural than a lot of people would imagine, mm -hmm. but it's home of some breweries, some wineries. We're about 30 minutes to the biggest city near us, which is Rochester, and then about an hour and a half to Syracuse, which is, uh, you know, probably the second biggest city that we have near yeah. us. And so the commute here in the Finger Lakes is fantastic. You hop on the throughway on I-90 and head uh, east or west, and you're in one of the bigger cities where a lot of people will, you know, travel for work or that's where their office is. If you're looking for nightlife, that's where you're going to go. You're yeah. going to go out to Rochester. You're going to go out to Syracuse. I, but, I, yeah, I, I was going to mention that and say that that Rochester really is your nearest nightlife. So if you're if you're a big, um, what do you call it, a night owl or whatever, yeah. where, where you, you like to go out and, and yeah, go to the clubs and bars and hang out with your friends and party and stuff. Rochester is going to be your nearest place. Yeah. And um, so depending on where you are in the Finger Lakes, because there really is like a hour and a half swing based on where you are in the Finger Lakes to one of those major cities. Right. So Avery said a half hour, but that that's where we are. And that's, you know, dependent on exactly where you are. And so Rochester is the nearest area in all these other little smaller towns. You do have, um, like he said, breweries and bars and, and things like that, that you can go hang out at. And they might have live music and some fun like festivals, things like that going on. Yeah. yeah but and, there's and no real clubs or anything like that. Right, and, and so if, if you're looking for going out, having drinks with your friends on listening to music, things like that, uh, you're not gonna get the club life, but you are gonna be able to go to a local craft brewery or a winery and get some local bands that are just playing some gigs and you know, great music. It's always a good time to have a couple beers, have, have a glass of wine or two and 
and uh, just hang out with your friends, listen to the music. And there's always cornhole. There's, um, you know, different lawn games. Uh, what do you call it? Ladder ball. Ladder ball. And, yeah. and different lawn games that you can. And some of the breweries have like cornhole tournaments and things like that to make it fun for the community and whatnot. Yep. Um, but that is going to be your primary source of um, quote unquote clubbing. Yeah. You're not going to you're not going to be going out and uh, having a, a rave. Um, you know, we don't we really don't even know what that's like around here just because it is a lot more rural and laid back. Uh, I think uh, than the what you can picture here in, in most of the Finger Lakes, I'll say, is you, you think about those movies where. The, uh, the the high school kids they take their trucks out to the cornfield yeah and, and, have a party. and have a party in the big circle in the middle of the cornfield and a giant bonfire and things like that so you're you're probably picturing that it's super country it's not like it's not hillbilly it's not no it's not it's not miles and miles and miles of nothing um, like you might be imagining but it is more of that lifestyle than a, a, a city lifestyle or an urban yeah. lifestyle. Um, that being said, going out to any of the bars or the, the local wineries, breweries, or anything like that, mostly everybody is is very friendly. You can go up to and talk to just about anybody and, and they're gonna make you feel like home. So if you're moving here, don't fear that, that you're gonna get here and not be able to make any friends because assuming you're reasonably likable, um, so is everybody else here. Yeah. So, um, yeah. you know, mostly everyone's friendly. Really, you know, one of the one of the driving factors with any kind of division whatsoever is politics. And we do have some um, political differences here in upstate New York versus uh, New York City. But with that being said, uh, everybody is, for the most part, really kind to each other, very welcoming <laughs> from outsiders. Um, and everyone just wants to hang out, have a good time and... Uh, and kind of do their thing. Everyone's kind of, uh, kind of just wants to be left alone, you know, yeah. and live their life. Yeah. Um, which which is awesome. You don't have to feel. I I remember like I remember going out to um, North Carolina, Jacksonville, North Carolina, and I love North Carolina. Some like some of the outskirts of the military areas, but I do remember the locals wanting to push you out because you're a New Yorker or you know you're just not from Jacksonville or whatever. So I I know what it's like to be. To feel like you're being pushed out of the area, but you won't you won't feel that way here. Everyone that moves here has always said that they feel welcomed, um, and uh, you know they love they love the fact that they moved here. I think maybe unless you're a, a Patriots fan or a, a Dolphins or Jets fan, then yeah, then you're probably you're probably okay. But if you're one of those fans, then you you'll probably get some uh, some pushback on that. And and that's a really good point because here in the Finger Lakes region, we are. Uh, big, big, big Bills fans. We are Bills Mafia. And um, there are very few people that are not Bills fans. They might be Giants or Jets because that's downstate. Um, but the sports culture around here, high school sports, whether it's football, baseball, volleyball, soccer, you name it, uh, very competitive. Everybody stays friends right amongst uh, the towns and different school districts. But we are very competitive. We have phenomenal school sports programs. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're in the smallest school, you're a damn good sports team. Yep. Um, and uh, it's really fun to get together on a Friday night and go watch the football game. Um, you don't even have to have kids there. It's just always a good time to, to go. But as far as professional sports, we only have one professional sports team here in upstate New York and it's the Buffalo Bills. And from where we are in the Finger Lakes, like I said, we're in Farmington. Uh, it's about an hour and some change drive to go to a Buffalo Bills game. Um, but with that said, there are plenty of carpool options. They actually have Buffalo yep. Bills buses uh, that people just buy, renovate, and um, you know they paint the Buffalo Bills logo on the side, and they'll drive you up. It's going to be you and a bunch of other people, and you'll drive up to Buffalo for a game, cart, um, uh, tailgate, and uh, just have a really, really good time. But that Bills Mafia culture is something yep. else you don't get it you don't get it anywhere else uh in the country in my opinion super fun super good experiences go out there and, and experience the stadium life down in uh or yep. up in buffalo and um so I, I i'm glad you you mentioned the schools though because uh you know new york state's academics are among some of the top and yeah you know the finger lakes region um is right there with them 
and uh, you know that's for academics and sports. And so um, you know, really any school that you go to around here, you're you're going to get a good education. Yeah. Um, teachers are phenomenal, and and just the the campuses and everything are phenomenal, as well as uh, uh, colleges and universities. Um, yeah, all of the SUNY schools. Yeah. Um, the local community colleges have fantastic programs. I mentioned on another video that uh, our community college here, Finger Lakes Community College, makes phenomenal nurses. They have probably one of the best uh, nursing programs in the state. Yeah. Um, and then you can take advantage of all the SUNY schools, you know, NAS, uh, uh, University of Buffalo, uh, Brian and Stratton, um, what am I missing? Yeah. Rochester Institute of Technology, RIT. Um, yeah, Ithaca. Yeah. Um, Cornell, uh, you name it. Like, yeah. All of our colleges here are fantastic. Even if you go to a small community college, uh, they they have fantastic programs and they make um, fantastic professionals yeah. uh, out of their programs. Um, it doesn't matter what you're looking for as far as a program goes, you're going to be able to find something and or your kids are going to be able to find something at a reasonable price. Yep. But with that said, um, you know, as far as uh, grade school goes, we do pay higher taxes yep. here in upstate New York, uh, well, in New York in general, than most parts of the country, um, be, you know, and, but we do have fantastic schools. Right. So it's sort of a trade-off. You pay a little bit more, but you have fantastic schools that your kids are going to be able to leverage for the rest of their lives. Sure. Um, so, so, yeah, it, it, moving on, I think uh, another thing to – to really take note of about living in the Finger Lakes is that uh, the weather, you, you get all four seasons, which is great. Um, you get spring, summer, it. winter, fall. Uh, and, and the best part about it is is when you're living the lifestyle of um, d finding something to do in every season, right? So a lot of people, they, they don't like the winter, but then they don't go out and do anything during the winter. If you can, we have tons of mountains out here, ski resorts. You can go up, uh, what, three hours to the Adirondack Mountains, um, hit some mountains up there. Uh, here in the Finger Lakes, we have Bristol Mountain, we have Swain, we have all sorts of different ski resorts that you can Hunt hit. Hunt Hollow. Hunt yeah. Hollow, and, and yeah, and, um, or Snowshoe, you can cross country ski. Uh, you can ice fish on, on the lakes. Yeah, it. you really have things, activities you can do for every single season out here. Um, and the climates are, aren't too harsh where you can't experience it yeah so summer's not too hot winter's not too cold i think in our lifetime it's it's rare that we've experienced a negative degree day yeah the wind chill might be a little bit negative um like negative three or five or whatever but it's nothing like when you get into like minnesota or wisconsin or michigan or whatever but it's fairly mild yeah on summer days it's it might get to 93 94 the negative um, about our winter is that it does drag on. Uh, so like you start getting winter effects in November, yeah. even even late September um, or October. Uh, October. Usually by you're, Halloween, we have our first snowfall. Yeah, you're getting winter effects, um, but it is a, we typically get wet winters. So it's a lot of um, cold, warm, cold, warm. And so people will get colds and whatnot, not like, if you have a decent immune system, it won't affect you really mm -hmm. much at all. But people will always say, oh, it's the weather that's getting me sick. No, but you know, it, it's gonna snow, it's gonna rain, it's gonna be icy on the roads. You're gonna wanna get your snow t uh, tires checked every single season. Yep. Um, that's just the way winter is. I know, uh, especially when I was down in Jacksonville, a lot of people from California or Florida didn't know how to drive in the snow. Yeah. And in North Carolina, it was very rare that where I was coast, uh, on the coastal side, like it was very rare that you get um, a ton of snow, but you get a dusting and people would be off the road. The city shuts down. Yeah, and yeah. here I am knowing full well how to drive in the snow. Yep, and um, I think another thing to note is that because the Finger Lakes, like we said earlier, is so, uh, it's more country than um, what you would normally get, I think, uh, you know, in, in a lot of other states or particularly downstate. You're gonna have more um, rocky roads, so uh, like what dirt roads and, and stone and gravel, and so they don't typically plow some of those roads. Yeah. So in if the roads are smaller or they're one way roads or whatever, they may not plow them, and so you might get um, if you have a longer driveway, you're gonna have to plow that yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and so 
it's an inconvenience. Um, if you don't have four wheel drive in some areas, you might get stuck. Um, yeah, new, upstate, upstate New York, Finger Lakes region is a Subaru area. Subaru, <laughs> Jeep, uh, yeah, a lot of these four wheel drive. Uh, and I don't, I don't know if you can tell, I'm kind of shivering, but right now it's what, September uh, 27th and what would you say it is? Out, uh, is it in the 40s right yeah, now? 40s, 50s. It's 40s and 50s chilly. right now. It's chilly right now. So um, I'm kind of shivering, but. Um, but that goes into the wintry effects here yeah. in uh, September. Yeah. So uh, with that said, spring, summertime are beautiful. It's rare that uh, New York as a whole ever really breaks 100. Yeah. Um, you know, there's some, there's some days that get in the high 90s and they're a scorcher. Um, but it's certainly not unbearable. Like some of these places like Tex uh, Texas or Arizona, yep. uh, California in some areas, it it's a good time in the spring and the summer because you can hop on the boat. You, you know, there's tons of, um, hiking trails and walking yep. trails that you can go on. Um, it's a ton of fun and that, and, and that's when, uh, you can drive around and go to a brewery, go to yep. a winery and actually have a good time without having to worry about the winter. Yeah. Uh, and the slushy roads and whatnot. And so what I was gonna say about the summer is that you can't go maybe 30 to 45 minutes without hitting a lake somewhere. Yeah. So it's called the Finger Lakes because the the lakes are long and skinny like your hands. So what, there's 11 of them, I yeah. think, 11, 11 Finger Lakes. So, um, you know, you can drive side to side, east to west and hit every single lake yeah. um, within, you know, 40 minutes of each other at some most. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Yep. And um, and hop on a boat, go swimming in a, there's uh, swimming holes, beaches all over. Um, there's rivers you can go swim in, fish in, uh, yeah. just kayak in, do whatever. And, and so uh, it makes for a really good time. If you wanna cool off in the summer, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, and as far as real estate goes for Finger Lakes life, um, we're looking at a significantly lower uh, price point than uh, downstate in New York City where a lot of you are expecting. You're, you're thinking of these high prices and whatnot. Um, that's not what we are here. Like if you're on the lake, you can expect 500 and up. I think, I think you're really lucky if you get into the 300s or 400s on uh, one of the lakes, you're gonna be looking at a smaller lake uh, if and you're, a smaller house. And a smaller house if you're in the 300s. That's gonna be the upper echelon of uh, pricing for the Finger Lakes. Yep. Our, our average price point right now is about 269,000 here in the uh, Finger Lakes. And taxes are a lot better um, than you know more of the uh, city areas like Monroe County. Um, but uh, yeah, 269,000, it's super affordable for a lot of people. A lot of people are, coming from areas where the average price point is five or 600 grand. Yeah. And so you sell your house out in Colorado um, or- uh, You're you know, coming in, here and you're Arizona. rich. Yeah, you're rich. <laughs> you can buy a house in cash and yeah. you're good to go. You could probably buy one on the lake and have water life, you yeah. know, and lake life and probably use a little bit of that money to buy a boat, yeah. uh, you know, um, make a nice boat house and do your thing. Um, and, and, you know, one of the cool things about buying real estate on the lake and having a boat is that there's a lot of these marinas that will actually transport your boat to a different lake. So if you want to know what it's like to get uh, to, to, you know, boat on Cuca Lake instead of Canandaigua um, or vice versa, you can get an Airbnb, rent it out, have uh, the marina transport your boat out there. Yep. And um, you can boat on Cuca instead that day or that weekend, whatever it is. Um, but it's a really, really fun time to uh, just go down to your boat, go out for the day, go swimming, go tubing, um, whatever you want to do. Have you know, have a barbecue out there. Yeah. There's a lot of people that bring their grills, and there's actually on Canandaigua Lake. There's actually a a boat that goes out and he cooks hot dogs and hamburgers for everyone, and he delivers to the boaters. Yeah, pretty pretty. What did we call that in the Marine idea. Corps? That uh, that that truck, that the food truck, the type thing that comes around. Yeah, and I don't remember what it. In the Marine Corps, there's a, a, a truck that goes in they just have a stand of all this food and yeah it it's pretty awesome um outrageous but, prices but awesome yeah. yeah but that's a similar concept to what they do on on some of the lakes is yep. they have a boat with with a bunch of food you go out and you know you're chilling on the lake and they come out and deliver food to you it's, you, it's pretty cool you can even pull up to a bar dock your boat at a bar 
and go have, um, you know, a cocktail or a uh, Bloody Mary or whatever and uh, head back out later that afternoon, yep. um, get some lunch and, and whatnot. And, you know, tons of boathouses that you can go and eat at. There's a lot of history on the lakes as well. You'll see a lot of historical properties and landmarks like uh, Canandaigua Lake has the boathouses. Yeah, uh, on the pier, so they have a bunch <laughs> of the boathouses um that are that are historical landmarks and yeah so they're really really cool with that right through this area that we're sitting at right now and and going through most of canandaigua and and the cuca park and uh, a lot of different places around here is the uh, underground railroad yeah so you'll see signs posted that says like here marks the underground railroad and it gives like the history of that specific spot yeah there's actually some houses up and down the lakes that are they're now historical uh, kind of museums mm -hmm. um, that you can walk through and you can see, um, you know, where the where the where the slaves would kind of be hidden um, up until you know uh, they were able to move on and be freed. So, um, so pretty cool. Some some cool history here in the Finger Lakes. And um, so that being said, guys, I, I I think one thing that I wanted to leave off on was both of us we we joined the Marine Corps at. A young age and we both went off to different places I went off to Hawaii and he went off to North Carolina we've both seen many different places throughout the country and throughout the world and we still made the decision to come back here to the Finger Lakes um, because I think aside from family being here I think because you you can't beat the beauty of the Finger Lakes yeah um, you know and it is it is on the come up as far as uh, popularity for tourism and things like that so yep. there's a lot of things a lot of infrastructure being built here that i think will really take off in the near future which is which is good for everybody more things to do you know um better homes better prices things like that more more uh stores and corporate yeah, large, well, big business well there <laughs> yeah there's a there's a ton of job opportunities around here yeah. and with with a little bit more development on some of the lake ends uh, you know, in Penyan, they have a lot of development, Hammondsport, Canandaigua. Yeah. Um, there's a ton of development going into condo buildings and, uh, you know, lakefront stores and bars and yeah. restaurants. And all of that comes with new jobs. First of all, we're not hurting for jobs. There's plenty of jobs here, but that's only going to add to it. Yeah. Um, so you can start getting your kids into work and, and so on and so forth. But one thing that I will leave off on is if you plan on moving here, it can be difficult to get around with public transit. Do not rely yeah. on public transit because the bus systems, they don't, they don't go everywhere. We don't have interconnected cities like a lot of these metro areas in New York City or in Chicago or whatever. Like I said before, it's a lot of farmland. It's a lot of disconnected little towns and villages. So you are going to want to budget in a vehicle if you don't have one. If you're coming from a metro area, you're going to want to budget in a vehicle. Yeah. Uh, whether it's a little beater to get you from A to B um, or something nicer, you know, four wheel that's going to get you around uh, all the time. You are going to want that because yeah. it's a drive. I, I was going to say in the in the winter months, your little moped or scooter, whatever you drive in the cities, yeah. uh, aren't going to get you very it's far. Gonna it. It's not going <laughs> to um, unless you get some four wheeler or dirt bike tires on those. Guys, remember, um, thanks for tuning into the channel. Be sure to click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time Tuesday and Thursday that we release these videos. We genuinely appreciate you, and we'll cut to some B roll of the Finger Lakes. Yep. See you next time. Yep. Peace.